Okay, without exaggeration, this one I believe is the worst I have ever seen. You need to know about it. It ain't good. Let's talk about that. All right, hey guys, as always, a big shazam to each of y'all. I don't think I'm being dramatic on this. It's probably, the, I think, the worst one I've ever seen. I'm gonna let you know about it. By the end of this, you'll know what's going on. I think you might agree. Let me know. Let me know if you think this is the worst ever. It ain't good. And I wanna say right up front, even if you're not from New Jersey, you need to know about this because this is how those people think. Yep. Buckle up, here we go. This episode is brought to you by my friends over at Acre Gold. The new way to buy gold, invest in physical gold without coming out of pocket all at once. You subscribe and when your gold stash reaches the price of a bar, it ships discreetly and directly to your door. It's super easy, get started today over at getacregold.com. It's super easy, big thank you to those folks. There's a link down there, you know where it is. Also, thank you for every thumbs up. Y'all are absolutely amazing. I appreciate all y'all. All right, here's the deal. Governor Phil up in the NJ, he went this weekend and spoke at a church. Now, the left loves screaming separation of church and state, except when they wanna use the church platform to spread their filth. Yep, funny how that works sarcasm. And now this is several bills. It's not just one bill. This is several things all put together, but the overall it's this, and I'm just going to walk you through what all it is. He has proposed because he is his current anti two way and anti freedom and anti your rights bills have come to a stall. They've kind of stalled out in the New Jersey legislature. He is now proposing a whole new slew of nonsense, and this is a several things put together, but I'm gonna go through a list here, and I'm telling you, I think it might be the worst. It might be the worst, yeah. First, firearms and ammo have to be stored in separate places within a domicile or residence, lock boxes or lock containers for each of them and stored separately. Hey, if you're gonna be moving to New Jersey, you now get to register and have to get an, an ID and then register everything and tell them what you brought with you. Yeah. And speaking of that ID, you also have to purchase an ID. All residents who want to own anything Freedom have to take a course and purchase an ID. It's, it's essentially a registration. I mean, it's unequivocally a registration. Also, no 50 caliber purchases available in the entire state moving forward. And if you already own one, they grandfather it in but you have to pay the state $50 a piece for all of your 50 cows. It's a nice even number, that's kind of fun. You have a 50 cow, give us $50. Fantastic. All right, also, speaking of that ID, you gotta purchase this ID that they're proposing and they're gonna move the date from, or the age from 18 up to 21. Oh yeah, old enough to vote, check. Old enough to die for your country, check. Old enough to buy what you want at a store, nah, not so much. Dems. If they didn't have double standards, they'd have no standards at all. Up next, they also want for all ammo manufacturers to record their sales and to report who bought what to the state police. Of course, every round of ammo. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's the worst. I think it's the worst one I've ever heard of. And then they're going to say this, they're moving everything, and this is when I wave my arms, that, that they want to make everything about public health because they can't go against the Bill of Rights. They're all about public health, and so they're gonna move the public health laws. No sales, no manufacturing of anything in the state, so you can't sell anything or, or manufacture, and no importing and no marketing within the state. I mean, they're just, just obliterating the entire industry. Oh, if you already owe something, pay us. If you wanna own something, you better get an ID, but pay us and tell us. Oh, and manufacturers, you have to tell us and pay us. And then here's the big one is they want to micro stamp, same thing they did in California, they want to micro stamp every single freedom seed. That way, once that freedom seed goes out, that shell casing can now be tied to the individual and registered Rudy Tootie. That technology does not exist. So essentially what this does, this technology is not even close to existing. So what they do is they grandfather everything else in and now you can't own anything in the state moving forward unless it's micro stampable. All right, it's a mess, it's bad. 
even from the very first point in here of separating into different lockers, that is not going to hold up. Why? Because of Heller versus DC. That is a seminal court case and it won't hold up. So they never let the facts get in the way of the story. They also never let, they never let the law or the constitution get in the way of what they're wanting to push forward. Now I said all that and I showed, I wanted to tell y'all about this today because this is what we're up against. This is what they're thinking. So it isn't just, oh my gosh, panic, which it kind of is, especially in that state. But we need to know this, especially that micro stamping thing and the overall strategy moving towards public health and then also grandfathering the old in, but shutting everything off moving forward. And then finally, having manufacturers and ammo manufacturers do reporting to the state. So all of this is bad. Let me know what you think right down below. Good times in New Jersey.